Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. Today we've got a uh, unique item, I feel like. I uh, haven't seen one of these for a while. Uh, it comes from an old movie uh, from the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe. Um, it's the Dark Side of Dimensions movie pack, the Secret Edition. Uh, it's a booster box. Uh, everything's got first edition in here as well. Uh, it comes with three booster packs, and then you get uh, three other cards. So you get three booster packs, and you get one of two iconic monsters. So you get one of either Dark Magician or Blue Eyes White Dragon using uh, movie variant artwork, and you get one of uh, two other variant cards, um, and you get one of uh, either Slifer for the Sky Dragon or Obelisk the Tormentor uh, using, uh, again, variant art versions as well uh, from the movie uh, in the end. So We've got some couple of items that are going to be unique in the end, and uh, then three booster packs to open on top of that. So, going to be interesting to see what we get. Uh, kind of was hard to find this, had to order it off the internet. Uh, luckily, a uh, guy on TCG Player was still selling them from back in the day, and I thought it was going to be worth a chance just to see what we can get. A little bit of nostalgia feeling, which is all we're really looking for. We just want to kind of collect the, the shiny cards in here more than anything else, um, which can you really blame me? So we'll open up this box here if we can manage to get through the years old worth of glue here at the top. I don't want to do too much damage, but you know what? We'll just pull this piece apart here. Put the box to the side, pop this down like that. There's our three packs, and all our cards, all our ultra variant cards are right here. Three packs. These things are, they feel old, I have to tell you that. They've got a kind of a bend to them of sorts that feels like they've been in a pack for quite a while. Uh, every card is secret rare in the packs as well. Uh, which is always fun when you get guaranteed secret rares uh, in any given pack. I wish I could find some markings on them that show just how like old or how long ago they were packaged in here in the end. And uh, maybe something back here does. Eh, well, don't know which one's more exciting. See what we get in here or see what we get in these. I think everyone's looking for that. But I mean, you can see just like card just started to slightly warp a little bit. I don't know if that's bad or good or whatnot um, happens, but we'll see what we get. Again, three guaranteed ultra rare variants right here in this pack. And we'll pull these apart. Would help to get the plastic off of them. All right, flip these bad boys over. All right, so we get Crystal Dragon is our first of the ultra rare variants. Get our, uh, do this here. Put those two down. All right, Crystal Dragon and are one of the other two variants in the end. Um, it allows you to add a level eight dragon type monster from your deck to your hand uh, if it gets battled during your turn. Uh, let you take one guess as to you know, the most famous level eight dragon monster there is. It's a blue eyes white dragon for anyone who happens to not know that at this point, uh, which is probably nobody. But again, good artwork card. Never seen this one before, but you know, now we're down to two cards. We either have Blue Eyes White Dragon or Dark Magician and Obelisk the Tormentor or Sliver Sky Dragon. Um, you know, I've got a number of Blue Eyes. I think everyone likes Blue Eyes, in it, but the Dark Magician variant artwork in this pack looks really good. Um, and then I like Slifer better, but the Obelisk artwork is phenomenal looking. So we'll, uh, we'll see which one we get. So let's pull the top one off here. And we've got 
Sly for the Sky Dragon. Look at that. That is a good looking card. Can't complain. My favorite of the God cards uh, for sure. So it's not the better artwork here, but by far, you know, compared to, I say, compared to the um, base line uh, artwork for Slifer, this, these variant artworks are phenomenal. This is still better than the other one, but the obelisk, if you haven't seen it, you got to pull it up, looks just, you know, it makes you wonder why they didn't go with these for um, the original design. Like that just looks good. Like take a look at that. That is like terrifying. I need to find a picture. I wish I had one that I could just, you know, show you guys right here live. Um, you know, it just gives you that sense of majesty, just of in your face, you know, awestruck. You know, that's 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 what a monster, you know, a god monster should bring to a table. Something that's in your face, just you know, terror, sense of awe, no no fear, you know, nothing is going to stand before this card and challenge it. That's what they should be striking into people. So that's much better. The obelisk monster, you know, it's got the same kind of billowing lightning effect kind of behind it, but just looks 10 times better than the, the blue variant that exists normally. So love the card. Glad it's Slifer. Can't complain for sure. Much better than the normal base Slifer artwork. All right. Get one more top loader ready to go. I don't know. Hoping for Dark Magician, but Blue Eyes is just as great. So, ooh, let's see. Let's see. And it's the Blue Eyes White Dragon variant. Now, that is still a great variant. And, um, again, you, you can't complain, like, you know, with these new variant artworks. I mean, I, very rare to see. I still don't have an ultra rare of the base blue eyes artwork in the end. I think I've got all the other variants, it seems like, but the original. So we're going to add this one to the collection. Um, you know, a little bit more of a majestic artwork. You know, they, they've done a lot of good work, you know, in one of their two flagship monsters in the end. You know, there's, you know, I think they say, you know, Dark, uh, Dark Magician is probably maybe the most recognized one just because it gets the screen time from the main character, but Blue Eyes here is just as good. The, the Dark Magician, you guys gotta check out both of them. Um, it's, it's, if these packs, um, the boxes weren't, you know, the price they were, um, you know, they're running about 40 for the box overall. You know, if you didn't weren't guaranteed to get them, uh, if you were guaranteed to, you know, get whichever one you wanted, it'd be definitely worth it probably to pick them up, but you don't wanna pick up, you know, four copies of the same card in the end, but worth the gamble. I have no clue what's going to be in these. There's we've got 15 cards between these three packs. So let's, let's get to cracking on these and see what they, see what they got. I don't even know when this movie came out. I uh, definitely been some time since 2017, maybe 2016. Regardless, let's see what we got here. Dark Magic Veil. I need to get more top loaders ready to go. These are all secret rares, so let's uh let's keep the mystique going and draw them as if we're playing here. Dark Magic Veil. You get to pay a thousand life points and special summon a spell a spellcaster type monster from your hand or graveyard. So you know. Don't know how many spellcaster monsters there are, you know, off the top of my head, but I can think of one that everyone is going to want to play. Uh, so take a look at that. Uh, the artwork as well. You'll know where that comes from. Dark Magic Veil. You can just put Dark Magician uh, in the end, and that's where they're taking that from, right? So good draw there. Magical Contract Door allows you to add one spell card from your hand. To your opponent's hand then add a level seven or level uh, eight dark monster from your deck to your hand level seven or eight dark monster from your deck to your hand uh so level seven or eight dark monster uh can anyone think of it? one of those off the top of their head i think everyone can right dark magician is going to fit the bill for a lot of these so we'll slide this one in
they did a good job pairing this pack up. So like all these are gonna be targeted. It seems like either Dark Magician or Blue Eyes. All right, Cubic Mandala. Um, if you control a cubic monster, I'm not gonna read all of this, let you guys, you can pause the video, read it, uh, take a look at that in the end. That is a hypnotic card artwork for the end, uh, for the design there. Secret Rares, they're out the pack. I wonder if they're all trap and magic cards. Dang it. All right, Cubic Karma. So Cubic Monsters must also be a powerful set here. These are, you know, very unique designs we got going on. So very neat artwork here. It reminds me of the Salamandra, Salamandra card there. All right, one more from this pack, Apple Magician Girl. So is this first monster card? So they're not all spell cards. In the end, take a look at that. That's a good pull. It's not a Dark Magician Girl, but you know, we, we don't have anyone, no one's fanboying over Apple Magician Girl yet, but we'll start the, we'll start the club right here. I'm starting it. You guys, you guys can can mark it. I'll I'll start the. I'll be the president. You guys can sign up with me. So, all in all, I'm glad you to target other magician girls. So we're gonna get a couple sets here. I guess there's a, other ones to add to your hand. So it allows you to get probably Dark Magician Girl and Dark Magician Girl allows you to tag into Dark Magician in the end. So a very good team building exercise here in this deck set to get you to Dark Magician. All right, get five more top loaders ready. All right, Cubic Wave. I did not get the other uh, ultra rare variant that you get instead of the crystal dragon was a cubic monster. Uh, I don't know anything about the cubic monster series. I didn't do my research beforehand. So just know if you need cards to help boost a cubic deck, they are a plenty in this series. All right, pandemic dragon. Uh, kind of hits a little close to home, right, during times uh, right now, right, guys? I uh, can't mention that during these videos, otherwise you get taken down. Might have to censor it. Good little artwork. All right, what else we got going on? Ooh, we got Crystal Avatar. Gonna help us out with that crystal dragon in the end, which is gonna help us get to blue eyes. Man, these are the packs here. I mean, I've just got like a stack of top loaders filling up next to me here. Like, definitely a lot of fun in that. All right, deep eyes, white dragon. Look at that, that is a good artwork right there with that secret rare in the background. Coming in with zero of zero attack and defense. So that effect, take a read at that. It's very helpful, take my word for it. Won't read it to you guys. Then that's half the half the battle here. It's like I read these like effects as I'm going through them, and um, you know they they look really helpful, but maybe in the actual gameplay, uh, they're actually not. And then we have Metamorph Fortress, little tower bastion, turning into a monster right there. Good pun. Yeah, some of these cards, you know, they sound great, they look great, and, and 
you know, on a read through, maybe they do. If there was a, there's definitely been a few duds, you know, if you read like TCG articles in particular, you see some all the time. It's like, you know, cards that sounded like they were going to be a great idea, but ended up being a big flop. Well, maybe that is a big flop. Who knows? But on a read through, they look great on paper. All right, final pack here. We've got five more secret rares to get through. We'll stack these here. Grab ourselves a couple more top loaders. All right, Dig of Destiny. This guy's punching a rock wall or something. Very trap card and spell card heavy. I need the sequels to Apple Magician Girl. I need like Pineapple Magician Girl or Great Magician Girl or I think there's there, there's definitely other ones. I think there was a pair of Magician Girl or something. All right, get the top loader here. And we've got Sentry Soldier of Stone. Little card here. Be the most like secret rares I ever see in my life at once. Didn't even know like that was a thing until I started doing these pack openings again. Just excited to get to see, you know, cards, rare cards. Ooh, ooh. I don't know if this counts getting this in a secret movie pack thing. Um, <laughs> but the Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Um, that's a cool card. It is a ritual monster, right? Yeah, ritual monster. It's kind of like a, there is a spell dark magician chaos max magician one don't know if it counts getting this in a special movie pack but uh i think it does um i know it comes in another pack but this is really cool this is a, a very powerful uh card in the end it allows you i think if you if you attack monsters um in defense position you get some sort of, you, you bypass the defense position monsters. It still does damage to the, uh, to your opponent, even if the monsters in defense. So very cool overall. Um, just trying to find the words. I know this comes in a different set, but yeah, I don't think I'd ever pull it in the actual set it comes in. So I'm going to count this one as being an epic pull, even though I'll never see the, the real, <laughs> the real card. Um, that's cool. I actually don't know chaos form. Well, good thing I don't duel. Um, I don't know what chaos form is in terms of it's a, obviously a ritual spell. So hopefully maybe they snuck that in the pack with this one and I can, you know, turn that around. So somebody maybe needs that, you know, but that's cool. Um, really good. That's like another blue eyes, you know, going to build my blue eyes deck, just have every blue eyes monster. We'll play by uh, TV show rules where we can bypass all summoning rules there are. Get my blue eyes out there on the field. Nice and nice and easy without uh, having to play by anything. All right. What's up next? We got the clear Karibo. It's a Karibo within a Karibo. Karibo-ception. I definitely remember Karibo was given like a mystical arc in the storyline following like battle city when they were in that simulation thing <laughs> little goofy karibo go away karibo we want blue eyes all right last card of the pack what are we hoping for crimson nova the dark cubic lord I would never have guessed that, so take a look at that. We have a cubic monster to use all those cubic cards on, so that's good news. In the end, that is an effect and a half to read right there, so y'all, I'll just do this, take a pause, read through that if you don't know what it does. I don't either. 
That's a, a good set there. I think overall, um, you know, we paid. It wasn't bad for a set. I didn't know that everything in this set was going to be secret rares. I just wanted to get the kind of nostalgia, you know, picking up sets that are hard to come by nowadays. And, you know, you see what happens in Legend of Blue Eyes packs. They take off and they become impossible to find. You want, everyone wants cards from them. So I think we'll just kind of cycle through. We'll just go back in reverse order, set aside what we got, and take a look. We got 15 secret rares and uh, three ultra rare variants that were unique artwork. So we got cycling back with Crimson Nova. We got that clear Karibo, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. I must say this is probably the, the best pull in the pack overall. Even though the odds are stacked in our favor, there's only 57 cards in the set. Sentry Soldier of Stone. The Dig of Destiny. Metamorph Fortress. Deep Eyes White Dragon. Crystal Avatar. Pandemic Dragon. Cubic Wave. Apple Magician Girl. You know, you had a Dark Horse there but was beat out by the Blue Eyes. Cubic Karma. Cubic Mandala. Magical Contract Door. Dark Magic Veil. Our alternate artwork, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Our alternate artwork, Sly for the Sky Dragon. And the Crystal Dragon. That was the unique variant from the movie. So 18 cards total for a pack in the movie overall. Um, I think that's a good pack. I don't good little box there. That's a good set. Definitely worth if you can get your hands on. I think there's a couple cards in there. Um, you know that's 15 or 57. And if if you know what they do and you you saw something they're good, you know if you play a cubic deck and you think there's something useful there, it seems very heavily stacked to cubic. Obviously, if you're a dark magician fan of any sort, Dark Magician Girl, whatnot, uh, that deck is certainly um, playable and there's a lot to help out there. But in terms of just collectors of shiny stuff like me, uh, you obviously can't go wrong <laughs> with 18 shiny uh, based cards. So appreciate you guys, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, we'll open up the next set here in the next video and see what next, uh, what new items we can find and what good pulls we can get next. Thank you, and y'all take care.